When you're doing drywall, you have a couple of uh, joints uh, that you have to finish. It's a bevel joint and a butt joint. Bevel joint is easy to finish because uh, you benefit from the thinner edges, from the bevel edges, from the uh, manufacturer. But the butt joint, you don't have this advantage and uh, you have to put a tape or mesh and then you have to put lots of mud to hide this tape well uh how is how it's gonna look if that's your drywall that's the butt joint when you have a tape here you have to f to further it all the way like this and hide this joint i'm gonna show you a trick that uh the gentleman named richard from london ontario used He's not a professional, so this this trick is not for professionals. If you are a handyman or contractor, you don't use this because it takes a little more time. But if you're a homeowner, it will help you to finish a butt joint much easier than you used to do. When you finish drywall, it will take you five or six stages to do the job. First one is to apply mesh or tape. I'm going to use mesh for my uh, bevel and uh, uh, butt joints and tape for my corners but uh, do yourself a big favor use a uh, durable 90 when you apply uh, tape or a mesh in your uh, bevel or butt joints because it's so strong it's hard to sand but uh, if you apply it right uh, it will not crack even when the wall is moving right so the durable 90 is on so now uh, it's a 90 minute set time uh, let's wait until it dries and we'll do the uh, stage two well now we're ready for phase two to apply mud as you know that tape or mesh will give you a little bump on the wall see how the knife is moving to hide it you have to put a good amount of mud to trick your eye uh, and and hide this uh, the joint here so what my friend Richard was doing he put tape on both sides of the of this of the butt joints in order to make a bridge and what that does see i put tape here just to show you he made a bridge that it's it's easier to hide that uh join to hide that tape so uh some professionals will roll their eyes that oh it will take time but if you don't do that often you will not have any problems with the bevel joints but this will actually help you to do the butt joints much easier and uh, you have to put three or even four layers sometimes it, it depends how high is your bump well it's easier to do with trowel because uh, it's uh, more steady like a uh, more durable but uh, I'm still going to use a knife. So I just went between the uh, tape. So I'm just going to remove the tape and remove. So this how it looks. Now let, let it dry and we're going to be ready for the next phase. Phase number three. mud on both sides and you have to go wide like this so you further in it make it like a bump everything is dry before the next phase we're gonna have to do light sanding thin down some uh, all-purpose mud now we're ready for phase four which is called a skim coat it's the last coat before sanding and uh, you putting a thin mud on the whole surface and removing everything that's pretty much it the whole thing is uh, skimmed and ready uh, for sanding and uh, priming and painting okay let's recall what we did uh, if that's your drywall and that's a joint and here is your drywall tape we put a uh, painting tape on both sides uh, three or four layers it depends how high is your drywall tape and we bridged the surface with the with the mud 
and then we removed the tape and after the mud was dry uh, we, we finished uh, uh, with two more layers on both sides and that's how we finished the butt joint. Thank you.